Welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb. Let me pull you all up. I have not done that. Happy Tuesday to you all. We are making a cute card today. I haven't made a card on here in a long time. So I'm excited to do that. Let me also connect you all via this guy so I can see everybody. Um, the voice you are hearing today is Anna Lamb, who is also an owner and craft educator here. She going to help me with commenting and all that fun stuff. We've got, I'm going to jump in pretty quickly because we have a lot to do today. Uh, but I do want to see who's here with us first. Um, Anna and I are going after this. We That's why we had to change the live from 10:30 to 10 and we're going to a fundraising event for isaiah 117 today which of course is one of our well i would say my favorite um nonprofit organization to support and would you also agree yeah. okay yeah. we love it okay are you mic'd up do you have a microphone i have this microphone okay great <clears throat> so we are um, going to be making a card today. It has a print and cut element. It has um, just regular card stock. However, you could use this file in a couple of different ways. And when I show you the file in just a moment, um, I'll, sh I'll kind of talk about the different ways that you could use it. So for today, I am going to do the print and cut element and uh, use a printer. Also, let me see if I can find the foam squares. I totally forgot to look for those. I want to use foam squares today because it's going to have a cute um, height to it. If I can find them. Sorry, I meant to look for those beforehand. Here we go. This isn't actually a foam square, it's just a strip, which is even better. Um, so, we're using a printer. We're using 8.5 by 11 cardstock, kind of thick cardstock. I am using lots of just 12 by 12 textured cardstock too and the the colors that I'm using today kind of go with the cut file so the color palette that works the best is this unicorn pack of paper it is paper studio from Hobby Lobby $23.99 full price please don't pay full price every other week it is 40% off and much more affordable um, so all of the colors except the brown that I'm using again <laughs> you'll see in a second are from this um, I'm also going to be using Barely Art Precision Craft Glue for this. Use whatever paper adhesive you like. And then I wanted to use a transparency sheet, but I think we're out of them. So I am using an old Cricut mat cover. I've never cut one of these. I assume it will cut similarly to the transparency sheet. I think I'll just do a transparency sheet setting and maybe a little extra pressure. Um, but I'm going to be using my Cricut Venture today just because it cuts really nice and I just calibrated this machine for print and cut and it is spot on. If you have not calibrated your machine recently, um, here is your reminder to do that. Becca, love the hoop earrings. Thank you. They are my pirate earrings. I do love them. It's been a hot minute since I made a Cricut card. Jen, same. Um, good morning. Good morning. Hello, everyone. Okay. Anna, let's jump over into Design Space so that we can look at the cut file that we're gonna be using today. Also, before we do that, this is available over on the website, oakandlam.com. If you are a member, grab this file. I just put it on last night. And it is right here. Hold on. If you're not a member and you like this file and you like other files like this, now is a great time to join you can join annually or monthly and you get access to all of the cut files on our website with a free commercial use license. So you could sell these cards if you wanted to, if you do like craft fairs and sell cards and stuff like that. So here is the file, go ahead and download that and then import it here into design space. When you import it, it looks like this. So you're going to ungroup and you'll notice like just some random lines and things like that. And that's what I'm going to go over today. This right here, you don't have to use. This is the piece that I'm gonna be cutting my transparency sheet out of. So I just went ahead and put that in with a file if that's something that you're interested in using. These lines right here, well actually, first of all, this part right here is going to be my print and cut element. And you could cut this out of cardstock if you want to. If you wanna cut it out of cardstock, leave it as is. I thought, however, it would be cool to have a print and cut element 
And because that, I'm going to, I'm going to show you how to change just this, but not everything. So I'm going to select from the layers panel, all the pieces from that print the gun element. And the cool thing about this file is that I'm going to press command G to group it all together so that I can move it over. Whoops. I forgot this part too. Um, the cool thing about the fact that it's an SVG is if you don't like these colors, you can change these colors. For instance, if you wanted to make this for Valentine's Day, you can make it all red and pink and alternate um, just by picking whichever one you want. Say I want to change this one, change it to that color. Select, change it to, you know, whatever color you want. Or don't use this at all, whatever you want to do. Okay, so back to this. I have this selected. I am going to press flatten, and when I do, it changes it to print and cut. So that is nice and tidy and wonderful, and it will go right here. Do you see where we're going with this? We have the transparency sheet that will go, it will actually go over the donuts and kind of under this so that it looks like the box of donuts. Then this goes on top. And then we have the liner. We always like to put liners in our cards. And then we have the outside portion of this. Now I made this cut file to be a five by five inch card. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. Keep in mind though, if you are creating this card, um, a five inch card is actually 10 inches in card stock. So, so you need to, if, if you're using like the Cricut Joy Extra, you're not going to be able to, to make a huge card. If you wanted to make it a seven by seven, you can't do that because it's only um, 12 inches. Um, the other thing that you could do, if you wanted to make this one piece, you could actually take this and this and flatten it so that it print and cuts just one piece. However, again, um, print and cut restriction, unless you have a venture or something like that or are cutting with 11 by 17 and have a machine that can do that, um, you're not going to be able to, to do this as a print and cut in one piece, if that makes sense. I feel like I'm rambling a little bit, but that's why I made this separate. The only other thing that I want to do is select both of these lines. These are our score lines and you don't have to do this part. You could easily just fold this by hand and grab a bone folder and, and fold it. Uh, but I wanna just show you all how easy it is to create really good professional looking cards. So uh, this is just one of the things that makes a card look very professional, having a score line that is uh, precise, having the, the um, panel on the inside that makes it look really professional. Using cardstock that is really good, beautiful, textured cardstock. And honestly, if you find um, cardstocks, which these are actually white core, unfortunately, but if you can find cardstocks in the colors that you want that are not white core, in my opinion, that looks even more professional. Okay, but I have these right here. Right now they are cut lines, so we're going to just come up to operations and change them to score. And when we do that, it, it's, it changes from a solid line to a dotted or dashed line. And I want to attach these to the actual base. So I have the score line and the liner selected. I'm gonna press attach. And now I have this score line and the actual outside of the card selected and I'm going to press attach. The other thing that you could do with this file, if you didn't wanna cut out all of these individually, like all of the pieces individually and layer them, which I want to because I think it'll look really cool. You could select these, select the layer, flatten it, and do these as print and cut too. So all of these would be print and cut. And this would be print and cut. However you want to do that, there is no right way or wrong way. If you want it to be super quick, then print and cut is the answer. If you have lots of time and want it to look really nice and layered and handmade, then this is the answer. Okay, so let me make sure that it is sized how I want it. This should be five, right at five, okay. Let's go ahead and click make it. That's all we have to do in design space. If you wanted to put some wording on it, like thinking of you or happy birthday or something like that, you could do it in a couple of different places. Oh, I feel like you would be doing this card disjustice if you didn't do a pun. Yeah, but would you do it on the inside? 
or the outside? I don't know. I don't know. Don't know what I would do without you. Donut. Something like that. Something like that. You could add it to the front if you wanted to. Like, oh, you're going to have this piece. And, and I'll, it'll make more sense in a minute. This piece will actually be over the donut. So you could put um, a really fine font cut out of cardstock or something like that right here. Um, or you could put the funny pun on the inside. And to do that, you could do a print and cut. So if you wanted to write it in here, I donut donut what I would do without you whatever font you want whatever wording and do then not know what I would do without you don't don't well donut donut oh do not fine I'm not a punny person And then um, you can make this print and cut. So just select and press flatten. Or you could, if you have a writing font, you could use your Cricut pen to um, write the text on the inside too. However you want to do that. I'm not putting one on here today because that's my choice. Okay. Kat said she wants a donut now. Kat always wanted a donut. I was making this file and Always. all I could think about, because I was Me looking donuts. at inspiration for donuts and colors and all that stuff, and I was like, oh, man, donut sounds really yeah, good. Next time you come to Tennessee, <laughs> we're going to take you to the best donut place we have here in town. Yeah. Oh. Donut card. And it should start with the print and cut. We're going to use the mat and the 24 by 12 inch mat. And it does start with the printing cut, but it has me as, at a 13 by 19 inch piece of cardstock, and I am just using 8.5 by 11. So let's go ahead and change that, and we'll press continue. We'll send this to our printer. I am going to turn the add bleed option on, even though I did just calibrate my machine and it will be perfect. I do want to add the, the bleed so that it adds a little bit of extra color on the tops and the inside so that we have a perfect looking cut. Use that system dialog box. And then we are going to increase our print quality and choose the rear tray because we use a thick cardstock. Um, the other thing that I need to do is make sure I had it on a glossy setting and I'm just using regular plain paper. So let's choose that. I may, it may have gone through before I changed it. So I may have to print it again, we'll see. Um, the other thing, let me look at these mats. So with the Cricut Venture, it places your material like this. Well, I'm using a 12 by 12 inch piece of paper, so my paper is going to be like this. So I need to just come through here and make sure everything looks really good. We'll press done. And to eliminate having to put my mat in and out a million times. I'm gonna consolidate it a little bit. This one is gonna be a different cut setting because it is the transparency, so I can't put that one on the same page as this one right here, or the same mat. So this one will be cardstock, and I can select my donuts. Uh, How many different mats is this gonna be? 11. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to, let me print this first and then I'll go back or cut this first and then I'll go back and kind of consolidate a little bit just so that I'm not doing quite as many mats. Miss, Miss Linda, what time frame are you in? What time zone? She Linda said, Lowry? No, she said, I finally woke up on time to catch a live. It's been almost a year. Huh. I can't say her last name. Oh, she's in California. Okay. I think. Remind me. Get this cut. Uh, Becca's using the Venture right now. Um, you don't have to use the Venture. It's just faster. These, this would be fine on a 12 by 12 mat. So you could use any. Yeah. You technically. Technically, you could you use could the Cricut Venture. Yeah, the Joy Extra. 
And if Did you make. Did the Joy do print the cut? Joy Extra does. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Can you do it all as print then cut? Yes, Miss Patty, you can. You would just. Select everything and. Flatten it all. Mm -hmm. Oh, I selected the wrong map. It's okay. Let me go back. That's always the danger for me of looking at other mats is that I forget to select the one that I'm actually trying to use. Did it cut wrong? It cut the bottom and it won't matter. Medium card stock. Here we go. I'll also have to use my scoring stylus with this, which Rachel used the other day and it worked really, really well. Do you have any of our Easter candy left down here? There is jelly beans over there somewhere. And I think I threw the chocolate and stuff away because I didn't want mice down here. Oh, I didn't, okay. Throw those Twizzlers away, they're disgusting. <clears throat> let me see who, let me see what you're saying here while oh, that's cutting. Uh, hey, Scott. So, Cat and Scott, how was your Kentucky trip with the terrible weather? I feel so bad. Well, that was your first trip of the season, right? Well, at least you got to have a trip. Ours got completely canceled because we had snow. So that was sad. But if you're inside the entire time, that's sad too. Did you eat any good food? Yes, I ate good food. I mean, like they make good food, but I mean like, did you go anywhere and find any good food? Okay, go to, go to the overhead so they can see how gorgeous this cut. Let me um, pull this off. Look how perfect. I'm gonna show you this piece of paper in just a second. Do you, I don't even know if you can see. Do you see how evenly all the way around the extra is? This is a perfectly calibrated machine. I am so impressed. I don't know if they fixed their technology, but the Cricut Joy Extra and the Venture print and cuts, I feel like are so much better than our Explorer 3 and Maker 3. Um, I, I have no idea. It doesn't matter, especially, good Lord, my make, I have the original maker at home and I have to calibrate it basically every single time that I use print and cut and it still is never perfect. Like I'm ready, because I use print and cut more than anything, I'm honestly ready to sell my regular maker and get something else just so that it, it does print and cut better. Okay, so back over in design space, I'm gonna cancel out so that I can go back to these mats and move it around a little bit. Um, I want these on mat two. And I wish you could, the what? Um, I wish you could select, you might be able to. I wish you could select more than one at a time. Oh, you can, okay. I just held in shift and I can select more than one at a time. So then I'm gonna put these right here. These will be my donut colors. And this is just going to save me some matte time. Let's see here, this is, see, one, one teeny tiny yellow piece, right? Move this object, we're gonna move it here too. So I'll put it right here. Then one teeny tiny green piece, move object, put it right here. I'm gonna stick it right here down a little bit. Um, one teeny tiny blue piece. Put it right here. And then both of these purple. I'm gonna move it right here. Right in the center. And then Honestly, I bet I could get all of these on here. Let's see. Well, 
Let me do two match just to make sure. Move object to this one. I gotta remember what color is what too. Let me, I'm gonna open up a new window and pull up my file again so that I can remember. <laughs> to canvas okay so we have over here you can go to the overhead I'm just going to reference my mat in design space and then I am going to place the cardstock on this mat in the exact same spot so this I needed a full 12 by 12 piece so I'm going to place it in the left hand side we'll bray it down And then, if I remember correctly, the blue goes right here. And I need roughly, mm, let's see here. Where'd my thingy go? Where'd my window go? Come back, window. Uh, we'll just make it a decent amount like this. So I'm just going to cut kind of like this. And I'll place it right here in the left-hand corner. And then my brown donuts are in the bottom right-hand corner. I need a little bit more of it. So I'm just going to cut some extra here. Place it in the bottom right hand corner. We'll bray it down. And then the top left corner is green. So it will go here. Top right corner. This is the part that I needed to look at. Will be this minty color. And then in the center, which I'm gonna have to trim off some of this, is our purple. One, two, three, four. If I can get away with this. And one, two, three, four. I can get away with this. And then my purple will go right here. Or for that matter, I could do it right here. Either one. So if this is confusing to you, don't do it this way. <laughs> this is just, I just hate, I mean, the idea of putting 10 mats in and out just is not appealing to me. So that's why I'm not. Oh, I may have messed up there. One, two, three, four. Is Pearson happy this morning, Anna? <clears throat> I'm struggling here. Move these over here and do it like this. Okay. So now we'll load this mat and we choose the medium cardstock as soon as it connects. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, Kat, Rachel is upstairs wrangling the two feral little ones. Yeah. Forgot to put my stylus in there. <clears throat> um, who on here has cut a Cricut mat cover before? Let me know. What material setting did you use? Will transparency work? I'm curious. Why would any of them have needed to cut a Cricut mat cover? I guarantee somebody here has cut the mat cover before. Let, I guarantee it. Like on purpose? Yeah, I guarantee one of them has. I don't think that chocolate was a good idea on my food. You hadn't eaten anything? Just straight up chocolate? No. Nothing else? No. I hope the food's as good as last time. Food was pretty decent. That cheesecake, remember it? No. Huh? You don't remember the cheesecake? I never forget a cheesecake unless it's just terrible. That must have not been very good. No, it was good. Not Yoder's good. No, Yoder's is good. Has mom had Yoder's? Did you talk to her about it? Mom, have you had Yoder's cheesecake? It's just as good it's as yours. just as good as yours. And Aubrey's. Oh, I love when it works out. Okay, go to the overhead, Anna. You are on the overhead. They weren't seeing it cut. No. Okay. You can do it the next time. How would they see it cut, buddy? Front facing. No. Here's this and this. And technically, I should be flipping my mat over. See how it's curling? I'm going to have to fight that. If I'd flipped the mat over and removed the cardstock from the mat, I wouldn't have that curling. Look how tiny this cut is. I'm going to have to like really be careful with that. Ooh. Itty bitty. But it cuts so well on that venture and super quick. Okay. So this is when you may or may not want to use a little spatula. I mean, these are, it's tiny. I don't even know. It's like a 16th of an inch, I think. Yeah, it's like a 16th of an inch. So I'm going to actually leave that on there until I'm ready to actually cut with it or glue with it and just pick it up in a second. If, uh, if I remember correctly, let me look and see. It may not be. It goes with the yellow, which I haven't cut yet. Dang it. Okay. We'll need it in a second. Look how cute these icings are. And you could honestly just do icing if you wanted to, but I think the toppings are really cute. So that's why I did it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move it. You could use your little spatula or you could use kind of like what I'm doing here. Kat wants to know what your game plan is on getting that. On getting what, pal? I guess what you're doing right now. Watch and learn, y'all. Watch and learn. Just like this. I'm going to have to use reverse tweezers a thousand percent to put it down, though. This is when print and cut would come in. I'm going to tell you, I'd probably just drawn that on with a marker. Anna, you are not adventurous. Well, I am. I just don't know how you're going to get that to stick down. I will. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, there we go. Almost done. 
one and then we can load the other mat and then we have the transparency one still. That one comes up. Okay. Now, where did my yellow mat go? I never saw yellow. Huh. Next load. I should have had pink. I didn't. That's why I'm going to cut one of them. <laughs> what? That's actually a really good idea, Kat. What's that? She said, I might have tried vinyl before attempting glue, but I'm here for it, Yoda. <laughs> I can't. Vinyl would have been <laughs> fantastic I can't idea. disagree with that. <laughs> Patty says, that would cause me great anxiety. Print the cut. Here I come. No, 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 Patty. Do do all of it cut except for the toppings and then do vinyl like Kat says. That was genius. <laughs> I don't know where my yellow top went. Stacy says make sure not to lose those pieces. Yeah, thank you. I should... Come on. Oh, I can't see first. These are gonna go on this one. And I'll make one of them yellow. Actually, you know, oh dang it, I'm I know exactly what I'm gonna do because I'm gonna do it with the sprinkles and I meant to do it with these. It's okay. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use a transfer tape and put it on a transfer tape and then I'm gonna put adhesive on it and then put it down and then try to remove the adhesive or the tape. We'll see how it goes. It could be a total disaster. At least you're along for the ride, right? Okay, and what color were my sparkles? This lovely color. You know what? I yes. wish that I could actually speak like Kat when I'm reading her her messages the, did, the first time I ever talked to her like and heard her voice I was like this is not right because <laughs> all the in my head she sounds like me yeah all the comments come out in our southern twang yeah not even close <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like Scott sounds oh, like some of Scott's sounds. Uh, he doesn't have as much of an accent, in my opinion, as Kat. It, Are, but they're from the same area, aren't they? I know they went to high school together. I assume. Oh. No, Becca, Scott definitely has some. He does, but I feel like hers is stronger. She's a better Yankee than him. <laughs> <laughs> He's a southern boy at heart, I think. <laughs> Old Gary. I'm starting to enjoy paper crafting. What's your favorite card stock for cards? Amy, honestly, I like... There's not really a... I, there's not like a brand that I particularly like. Just look for a, a non-white core card stock. Meaning when it cuts, you don't see white. It just looks better. Becca, I need you to talk like Bobby's world mom for the rest of the love. Do it. I will not. <laughs> Becca. I will not. <laughs> okay, so look right here. See all our little sprinkles? I have a plan. Did you front face so they could see the venture? You're the worst producer. I'm holding a baby. You better be glad I like you. Okay, so I've removed this. Oh, hell. No, no, no. I have a plan. I have a plan. And I should have done this. TV. I should have done this with, yeah, yeah. No, just regular. I should have done this Final with the whatever. other. Here's the great debate, Kat. When the original people came over and took the land, 
from the Indians. They had to have had English accents, correct? I thought they were Spaniards. Oh, wait. wasn't Columbus, Columbus? Didn't he do it for like Maria? Somebody? I, I don't. I hate history, by yeah, the way. So come at me. True. Come at me. That may be true. I'm gonna have to go back and research. Anyway, anyway. So then, were northern accents or southern accents developed first? Okay. Okay. Are we seeing this? I have my sprinkles it right work. here. It works. I just okay. don't know how you're gonna get back off. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure either. It may or may not work. <laughs> it was a good idea, though. And then I just have my transparency to cut. And putting these little cuties together is going to be so fun. Okay. Thanks, Mom. You should have taught us better. Is it, it Queen Isabella Spain. of Spain? Queen Isabella of Spain. Thank you. I said it. I was like, Marie. Doesn't matter. I knew I knew it was not an English person, an Englishman. Hey, but listen, I'm watching this one show and I can't actually remember what it is. It's on PBS. And they're all these settlers that went into Jamestown and none of them have Spanish accents. You've lost me. I wasn't paying attention. You had me at... Yeah, I think it's called Jamestown. It's on PBS. Mark and I are both watching it. That sounds horrible. That's actually fantastic. Okay. Let's go ahead and put some of these guys together. So, I'm going to grab some reverse tweezers and the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. And then I'm going to get this started. So... My first little donut I'm going to do. I need you to go ahead and try those sprinkles. I need that out of the way. I will in a second. Well, I, sh I, I should do it first because they're going to have to dry before I can move on. Does that dry clear? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I'm going to put it right here on the purple. My purple frosting. What is that glue? Barely art precision craft glue it's did good you already stuff. say that i did it's okay so i'm going to just put a little bit of glue i'm hoping i can get it glued before it draws <laughs> just do half of it no okay i think clear acetate is what becca was trying to find but she couldn't find it and so she's just just using the uh, cover of one of the mats. I'm leaving this until it dries. So that's just over to the side. We'll be good. Now I'm going to do this one, which is actually more of a coral color. So it's kind of messing with my head, but whatever. <laughs> Miss Mary, I watch you so much that I'm starting to talk like you and I'm in Western Canada. <laughs> This please, has made my day. Please send us a voice this memo. This has made my day. <laughs> my goal is to get Grizel to have a southern accent. That will never happen. She has Marissa. such a strong accent. I know. I really never need hers to change. It would break my heart. <clears throat> See, and I didn't put adhesive on every single bit of this. You don't absolutely need it on every single bit. Not imagine doing this without reverse tweezers. Look how cute that little donut is. Look at it, Anna. That is cute. Oh, so cute. <laughs> what flavor would that be? Like pink lemonade with razzle dazzle frosting? Whatever you want it to be. I love a good donut. Fallon's first birthday was donut themed. We all wore our pajamas. Yes. We had, I made breakfast casserole. We had donuts. She had a mound of donuts instead of a smash cake. You know what? Maybe that needs to be Chappie's next one is breakfast food. It's easy, too. And everybody likes breakfast food. These are really easy to put together. 
And y'all can print and cut all you want or vinyl all you want. There's just something about knowing that someone handmade and put all the time into it. So if you want to chance out and go the easier out, cat, people will know you, you don't love them as much. You still have to weed all that crap. I know, which begs the question, is it worth it? I don't know. I really... I guess it depends on whether or not your hack works here in just a second. I really, really should have used the hack on this part because now I'm going to have to... Uh-oh. It's fine. Piece it back together. It's fine. That's quite a song you've got in. Maria. Quite a song. This comes out sometimes. Uh huh. Okay. Do, 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 oh, I've got. Do, do. Is it this piece? I don't know. Thanks. Um, I looked over at the comments and Lisa said, "Looks high quality," but all I saw was high quality, and I thought she was referring to my singing right there. Uh, maybe she was, Anna. <laughs> High quality entertainment here at Oak and Lamb. Speaking of high quality entertainment, <laughs> what? <laughs> Kat says, I think you need to send me that card, Becca. I'll frame it and put it in my craft room as a reminder to do the hard things. <laughs> Maybe I will. Uh, Along with my Picasso bunny. That was hard. <clears throat> Christy, here's the thing. I can't just sing on command. It has to be like heartfelt. I have to really be feeling it. Make her feel it, Christy. What is she wanting you to sing? I, mean, I don't know. She are you taking requests? Her. This is like Oak and Lamb karaoke over Hands here. are shaking like Dougie That over would here. be fun, Becca. Although... Microphones on a. Clearly, I didn't put this on here correctly, but. Oh, <laughs> that looks half done. Doesn't. I think it looks adorable. You know what? I'm gonna put it right here. I wish y'all could see him right now. You could bring him over here and show him. You want to go say hi to everybody? He's smiling. You want to go say hi to everybody? Come here. What are you doing? Say hi, everyone. Can you tell him about her? Yeah. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah. You guys love me. It's not all love me. Yeah, you do. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. You do it. <laughs> he likes creepy, weird laughs. <laughs> not today. Not today, Mom. Those were Tatman chamois. They're so cute. Okay, when Anna gets back over there, I'm going to try to remove. Actually, you know what? I'm not. Not yet. I'm going to continue to put this card together and let that dry. I believe this cut perfectly. It did. I used the transparency setting and extra pressure, although it probably didn't even need the extra pressure. I just wanted to be safe. So, let's take... This. Mom, Mom said to sing a Disney song. Mom, the only Disney songs Becca and I sing are the uh, <clears throat> Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs ones so that we can sound like Snow White. Oh, oh, oh. want to know a secret? Yeah. <laughs> so for the transparency, I am going to go ahead and just place adhesive right around like this. Put this little guy right here. What'd you end up doing with that? Did you have to do extra pressure or did you just do transparency? 
You guys notice that she doesn't listen to I anything didn't at all. I say. Here, taking care of a baby, singing songs. I said commentary. I did transparency with extra pressure, but I probably could have just tra done transparency. This is gonna look. So, I was thinking, Kim, I'm so excited. You know what would have been super cool is what? if you'd made the the card 3D like a box. Yeah, that would have been cool. <laughs> he thinks I'm funnier than you. Does he? <laughs> you hear that giggle? <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and put adhesive on this back side. Are we overhead? Yes. Okay, on the back side, but not the front side yet, because I've got to put the donuts in. There's that. We're looking good here. Looking good. Make sure I don't have anything. Okay. And then these guys are going to come in here. But before I do that, again, let's grab... Where's my print and element? This. And we're going to place it right on this outside. Just like this. Oh, I love this. Also, if you wanted the bottom of your box to be a fun color, you could have made the liner a different color, too. Oh, Becca. What? Lisa said you could make a donut shaker card with sprinkles for the shakers. Well, I love that idea. That's fantastic. It is. It is a good idea. <coughs> okay. Um, let's remove this and see. Ooh, see if it works. Crossed. All right. Moment of truth. You're covering your head. Well, I, because I'm trying to see. Oh, got the hook up. Look at him go. He go. He just blew a snot bubble. He go. <laughs> So some of the tops of these that got a little bit too wet with adhesive um, are wanting to peel up a little bit. But overall, I feel like this was a solid idea. I mean, that was definitely easier than placing all of them. Not terrible. Okay, so now I'm going to place these in here. Put one in here. Might be easier to do it like this. To place them, to even them up, and then we'll close the liner up on them. We'll see. This could be a fail. Oh, it's going to be because, yeah, I'll just have to put more adhesive on it. I also want to put the 3D or the this on it. Just so that we have extra all the way around. And I am going to cut this. So that it's thinner. Y'all, I finally figured out his formula that he needs, and he is a changed baby. Such a happy kiddo. Now, let me talk to you about this for a second. He has wick. It's a state benefit that he gets currently. Um, they are contracted with Similac, right? So we started out with Similac. We've tried so many different Similacs. And he was screaming on all of them. So we went to Infamil. He did okay on it, but he had acid reflux really bad. 
So they wouldn't pay for his formula because it wasn't a Semite formula, right? So I'm still like, I'm still not happy with what's going on. Let me see if I can figure something else out. So I go back to Similac and try the 360, which is apparently supposed to be most like breast milk. So he is doing amazing on it. Absolutely amazing. So I call the wake department back and I'm like, let's go ahead and reactivate his benefits. We have Similac. We can throw those on there. They're like, oh, <laughs> that's the only one it doesn't cover. It's like, cool. Cool. Of course. They were like, the only difference between it and the total comfort is that it has a probiotic. I'm like, I don't care what the only difference is. He screams on one and not the other. So, proof's in the pudding there. Okay. I'm going to remove this adhesive. This is good and sticky. Oh no, my donut got on it. I'm back there, donut. Okay, I'll put more adhesive on these now because they're dried out. What did you do oh, to him? No. What have you done? <laughs> Poor buddy. That was pitiful. And you can move these around a little bit. That's the beauty of having a wet adhesive like this with cardstock. And move them around a little bit. And honestly, because I'm not putting a ton of adhesive on here, if I completely wanted to, to move it, even when it was dried, then I could do that. Is this pasty down here? Is this pasty down here? Oh, okay. Nothing. Okay. Those look pretty good. And now I'm going to close this. And there's just enough, I wish you could see it in person. There's just enough height from that foam that it, like it, it extends it up and it looks like there's some depth to it. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love this card. It's so cute. Look at that. <laughs> I would be happy to get this card. There you go turned out okay what's everyone saying <laughs> Anna pinched him I bet she did I bet she did They need to do what's best for the baby. I, Kat, I agree. And and here's the thing. They said they're, they'll pay for like, and I, I can't ever say it, Nutri, Nutramagen and uh, what's the other one? Alumentin. They'll pay for those if you get a doctor's order, but he still doesn't have insurance. <laughs> and um, But they won't pay for the other one. And it doesn't make sense because the Alumentin and the other one are like 40 something dollars a can well his is too honestly i bought two cans of formula and it was almost 100 bucks it's insane yeah if you have a prescription with a medical diagnosis you should be able to get what the baby needs they told me they would get the other two but they wouldn't be able to do the similac 360 like I'm more than happy to try, though, to try to grab a prescription for it and take it to them and be like, if you could get one, why can't you get the other, right? I don't know. Kat, I'm going to send you this, but I'm sad because it has a little bitty thing underneath. <laughs> I should have wiped in between better. So you can be reminded to do the hard stuff and just ignore that spot, okay? Okay. Thank you all for being here with us today. As always, it is such a fun 
time crafting with you. If you like this cut file, it is available on the website. Become a member so that you can get cut files like this, education like this, friendships like this. It is the best place to be. Oh my goodness. Uh, honestly, we are just so blessed to have you all and to have our community and, and to be able to do what we do. And if you like what we do here and want to help us, want to help us continue to do what we do here, um, you can do that a couple of ways. One, you can join the membership like we have mentioned. There's a link below. You can join annually or monthly. Um, or you can, in a non-money way, help us by subscribing to the YouTube channel. It's free to do that. If you're not already a subscriber, please go ahead and do that. Um, and always let us know if you have any questions. If you're re-watching this and you have any questions, leave a comment below. We would love to answer them for you. I don't think the supplies are listed yet um, down below, but they will be for sure. And the cut file is available on the website. So thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all here Thursday.